Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam, Electronic Systems and Technologies or EST Refresher. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for Engineering Board Exam, Electronic Systems and Technologies, EST, Refresher, which is Part 2. So magsasagot tayo ng sets of questions. Let's start with question number 1. What is the velocity of sound in dry air when the temperature change is 25 degrees Celsius? So ano raw yung velocity ng sound in dry air when the temperature change is 25 degrees Celsius? So meron lang tayong formula dito. So, the velocity of sound is equal to 331.45 plus 0 0.607 temperature in degree Celsius. So, direct plug-in lang nung given natin, temperature in degree Celsius na 25. So, we have 331.45 plus 0 0.607 times 25. So, using calculator, ilan to? 346.625 unit is meter per second. Okay, so therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay, next we have a transmission line has L or inductance of 25.3 nanohenry per meter and capacitance C of 21.5 picofarad per meter. What value of load resistance should this line be terminated to ensure lossless transmission? Okay, so to ensure lossless transmission or maximum power transfer to the load, dapat yung value nung load impedance natin is equal doon sa characteristic impedance ng transmission line. So, may formula tayo for the characteristic impedance ng transmission line as square root of L over C. So, given naman yung L tsaka C natin, pwede nating ma-plug in sa formula. So, we have square root of, so L is 25.3 nanohenry, so times 10 raised to negative 9 over C na 21.5 picofarad, so times 10 raised to negative 12. So, using calculator, ilan nito? 34.3 ohms. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have three audio waves with 200, 300, and 400 amplitude respectively simultaneously modulate a 550 volts carrier. What is the total percent of modulation at the AM wave? Okay, so amplitude modulation. So, meron daw tayong tatlong audio waves na merong amplitude na 200, 300, at 400 volt. Na simultaneously minomodulate yung carrier na 550 volts. So, ano raw yung percent modulation? So, meron tayong formula na yung total percent of modulation is square root of m sub 1 squared plus m sub 2 squared plus dot 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 plus m sub n squared. So, since meron tayong tatlo, ang total natin is square root of m sub 1 squared plus m sub 2 squared plus m sub 3 squared. So, times 100%. Okay? Eh, yung individual modulation index natin is equal siya sa V-peak or amplitude ng ating audio wave over yung amplitude ng ating carrier. So, pag pinlag in natin dito sa formula natin, we have so yung total percent modulation is for M sub 1 squared, we have 200 over 550 quantity squared plus sa M sub 2 squared naman we have 300 over same na 550 squared plus sa M sub 3 is 400 over 550 quantity squared times 100% so using calculator ilan yung percent modulation natin approximately 68.03% so, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have the operating frequency of an FM transmitter is 88.8 .8 MHz. 
Calculate the frequency of the carrier crystal oscillator if it uses three frequency multipliers, a doubler, a tripler, and a quadrupler. So, meron tayong formula dito na sa FM transmitter, yung carrier transmit frequency is equal to N times master oscillator center frequency FC. So, yung transmit frequency natin is itong 88.8 MHz. Tapos, yung multiplier natin, yung N, sabi meron tayong tatlo, doubler, tripler, tsaka quadrupler. So, yung doubler times 2, yung tripler times 3, and quadrupler times 4. So, ano raw yung carrier crystal oscillator frequency, yung FC? So, therefore, FC is equal to FT over N. So, plug in natin yung values. Yung FT is 88.8 MHz or times 10 raised to the 6 divided by yung multiplier natin ng tatlo. 2 times 3 times 4. So, using calculator, ilan to? 3.7 MHz. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have Calculate the electric field intensity in millivolts per meter at 25 kilowatts from a 200 kilometer source. Okay, so meron tayong formula for electric field intensity as square root of 30 P sub T over distance. So yung P sub T is yung power natin na yung 25 kilowatts. Tapos yung distance natin is itong 2 km. So, we have electric field intensity is equal to 30 times yung P sub T natin na 25 kW. So, times 10 raised to the third over yung distance natin na 2 km. So, 2 times 10 raised to the third. So, masasolve natin using calculator is 0.433. 0, 1 volts per meter na, right? So, sabi in millivolts per meter. So, move lang natin to 433.01 millivolts per meter. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Okay, so I think putulin ko muna dito yung part 2 ng ating Engineering Board Exam Review for Electronic Systems and Technologies EST Refresher. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for Engineering Board Exam Review EST Refresher Part 3. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.